we're just gonna go here. Why, why are we doing anything else? Why are we doing anything else? We don't need a lead in. We don't need a lead in. Hi, Brian. Hi, buddy. Randomly an email. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Matt Calder is live. Uh huh. It's been known to happen. It's been, you know, it's been known to happen. Oh. Trickster, <laughs> the hills are alive with. Ah. Trickster, hello. How the heck are you? I don't want to. I didn't want to scream too much. Aaron's on the phone. I can hear her on the phone. But how are you doing, my 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 good, wonderful friend, Trickster? How are you, Rebecca? I hope you're having a good day. You're good. You're packing. Oh, is all of the um. Um, is all the moving stuff happening? We're leaving in two weeks. Oh, goodness. Say hello. We're supposed to get keys today, but to there's always delays. There's always delays. There's always delays. Almost done with work? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I'm excited. How you doing? How you doing, Sapphire? Trying to figure out how to put all these plushes in boxes. Uh, just put them in. Um, get a vacuum seal bag. Get a vacuum seal bag. Good news is they're soft. You use them as padding for all your other packing needs. That's what, ow. That's what we did. That's what we did. We just used all of our plushies to pack in and handle everything else. What I was thinking of doing, I'm also the only family member in the house without fragile objects. Get uh, more breakable stuff. There's Matt from my bunk bread breakable stuff. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for including me. <laughs> oh boy, Jesse, hello. Let's 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 get ready to be sad. I I only Like when we move, when we moved, we wrapped all my consoles and my computers and monitors and stuff. Oh God, we, oh, I was so, I was so scared. I was stressed the whole time. I, oh, I think I, 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 I mm. I'm glad. I'm honestly glad I took time off of stream to let all of to, to move because if I had been trying to do it on a time frame, I think I would have gone crazy. I honestly think I would have gone crazy. Hmm. 
We're getting keys before we get the boots. So we don't have to do long distance tech moving. I can only imagine the how. Ugh. <laughs> Just like every every single one of the most expensive things you own in the car at the same time driving 11 hours. Oh, I was only slightly more stressed when we had the pets. I was only slightly more stressed when we had the pets. As someone who carried their rig as a carry-on via plane the three times I ever moved. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can watch the whole Silent Hill video now. It's up on YouTube. Feel free to scrub whenever you want. How did they do this? I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. Did they set a video of this to go up at the same time that they're doing the live stream? I'm just going to let it. I'm just going to let it happen. I'm not going to I'm not going to fuss with it. I'm not going to fuss with it. We'd Brian take his tech stuff as an entire side load just to be safe. Yep, that's what we did. We basically moved all of the tech stuff separately. Oh, no, the things I've seen scrolling ahead. Oh, God, what what terrible sights I've seen. I hope I hope the move and all that goes well, Trick. I hope everything I hope everything goes well. <sighs> Excuse me. All right, listen. Truly Konami moment. Hi, right, we're gonna have a live stream. Also, Konami, let's just push this video early. Let's push the video early and then also put all of the information we're going to reveal in it. Is it loud? Is it loud for y'all? Let me know how it sounds versus me. I don't want to sound conceited. I am the most important thing, so. Might need to make it a little quieter. Yeah, let's. We'll back it. We'll back it down. Don't look at the description. It apparently spoils everything. Yeah, Brian. Brian said that like. It spoils something in. Um, there was something spoiled in the description, and then there was something spoiled in the video tags. So. Turns volume down in case of jump scares. Um, it would be kind of fucky to do a jump scare during the presentation, but also I, I can't say that they won't, uh, <laughs> I, you know, <sighs> I can't say that they won't, honestly. Here's the fun thing about Konami. fucking shut me up um here's the fun thing about konami there's it's a 50 50 chance they announce nfts today just straight up it's a 50 50 shot that they just announce nfts post social media if you want to be unspoiled people scrubbing that video and posting shit oh come on guys Get out of here. If, if I still had Twitter, I would immediately block any of those people. Spoiler for some Silent Hill themes in the video. I got spoiled from a friend when it was, so I'm just sitting here staring. Boo. Boo your friend. Unless you asked. Unless you said, yes, please tell me. I didn't ask, it was dumped in general in our RP chat. Time to burn it down. Time to burn it down. 
There's one thing Matt will get horned for. Mmm, uh, mm. That worries me. I, you know, I, I, I joke all the time about a Silent Hill Tactics RPG, but like, I don't think they would actually make it. You know, like what class would Pyramid Head, Pyramid Head even be? Like, like a Berserker? Like any, mm. If they make the fucking gotcha puzzle game joke that you made, Brian, I'll scream. I will scream. Cause I'll play that. I will play that. They make like a match three Silent Hill gotcha. I'll play it. I'm expecting nothing, but I'm, I'm still ready to hurt. I'm ready to be hurt again. Silent Hill fans forever. I'm, I'm ready to be hurt. What does that even say? 30? I can't see. Uh, let's, no, closed captions unavailable. That's not surprising. That's not too surprising. Why is this IGN branded? Is this from IGN? I thought it was direct. All right, whatever. All right, RP. Stands for role-playing game. You're watching the IGN live stream? I thought it was direct from Konami, so I was very confused. I was like, what the heck? Oh, God damn it. It's the... It's the Silent Hill 2 remake, isn't it? It's the Silent Hill 2 remake. Please don't be Bloober Team. Just please don't be Bloober Team. Be anyone other than Bloober Team, please. It's Silent Hill 2. I know that fucking bathroom. Oh, uh, look at that. Could she really be here? Waiting for me? Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. He sounds too gruff. Oh, that looks really good, though. dreams I see that town Silent Hill most stable man in, in video games James Sutherland uh no <laughs> ah, boo boo Oh God. Oh, we get to see that scene in high def. Oh no. I'm sorry everyone, it's real and it's bullshit. I know why I needed you. God damn it. But it's all over now. Why the negative reaction? Because Bloober Team sucks. I don't need you anymore. Bloober Team is is just is bad. I'm ready. What is that? What does that mean? Mary? I don't... Only on PS5. Great, I don't even have to play it. I couldn't play it if I wanted to. Ugh. He sounds too gruff. Is it me? He sounds too great. He, he sounds, he sounds too. Oh, it's going to be on PC. God damn it. Welcome to Silent Hill Transmission. Hello. The show that keeps you informed about Silent Hill. Yep. My name is Selena and I'll be your facilitator. Thank you very much. Pro for Horror Gamer. Shout outs. 
Shout out to Selena. I don't know who that is, but I'm a fan. <laughs> he shouldn't come walking out of the fog. That would have been really good. Are you okay? I'm sorry you had to see this. I just imagined fucking Jesse laying on the ground. <laughs> uh, with the knife, just like... Uh, I'm so... Oh. It doesn't look promising I'll never play it on PS5 Whatever they were going to do with Silent Hills Looked way more interesting I think it's really telling I think it's really telling of Konami That the first Silent Hill game in 10 years And it's a remake of Silent Hill 2 Silent Hill should have evolved with horror And it, it didn't And the best they can do is remake 2 I'm getting the vibe this is going to be like Final Fantasy VII Remake where it's completely redone. You know? Resident Evil's what's going uh, the more Silent Hill route with things now and that flabbergasts me. Because it's what's effective. Like, it's it's what good horror is like uh, やっぱ Give me digital releases of the original games. I can at least come out positive. I'm betting they went, those guys remade Ari, why can't we do that with Silent Hill? And slowly started losing the energy. I don't really think any of the Ari games, while they're good or really horror, at least I know. I mean... I think it's very hard to do interesting horror on a video game. I think it's very hard to do horror that's interesting. Let me tell you more about the production team. No. Boo. Mute the stream. Mute this nerd. Just... No. Here. No. It's like... It's like, it's like when they show the fucking wizard game. No. Are you games are fe- uh, Are you fans are feasting? Silent Hill fans wished we had it Brands as good. Right. These dudes are better off buying their rights to Ill Bleed and Blue Stinger. <laughs> I'm so uninterested in what they're going to tell, the story they're going to tell. Like, there's, there's something to be said 
I'm going to turn this down so that I'm not yelling. I really dislike the idea. I don't like remakes unless it is a yo poke unless it is just like a remaster. I'm not a fan of remakes. Final Fantasy seven manages to toe the line between with with what is a remake because they basically rebuilt the game from the ground up. They revisited the scenario. They revisited all the systems. The best I could say is if they make it scene for scene, that's the best we can hope for. If it, yeah, if it's literally just that, then it will be OK. But I don't based on what they're saying, which I know that I'm not showing y'all because fuck them. Uh, no, no. By the way that they just showed James move in that scene. Like you can't remake this game like you can't be like, we are going to make a game that had the same that has the same impact as Silent Hill 2. It's not going to happen. Is there anyone here that hasn't played 7R? What's 7R? Oh, 7 Remake. Uh, I watched Brian play a lot of it. Like, I'm probably still going to play it. <laughs> Uh, but I watched Brian play a lot of it. I would say I would say save your comments, but avoid spoilers wherever possible. First time I've ever heard called 7R. Yeah, not with uh, 7, you know, FF7R. Also, I don't like that it's console exclusive for a year. Hello everyone, my name is Christian Svensson and I'm the Vice President of Global Third Party Relations at Sony Interactive Entertainment. I'm extremely excited to hear about the announcement Sony paid of that Sony big money, that's literally all I can This do. is definitely a celebratory moment and we're looking forward to bringing Silent Hill 2 exclusively to PlayStation 5. Being huge fans of the franchise, our team at SIE feels fortunate and excited to support the revival of Silent Hill. Okamoto-san, we eagerly Kana await hearing more oh, about man. what's in store What if Konami only franchise? made it because Sony paid them for enough for the uh, exclusivity rights? That tracks Konami loves money and doesn't love making games. Yeah, right? Here, Konami, we'll give you a ton of money if you let this team remake a game and put it exclusive on PS5. Sad Hills 2 appeal was the gross grunge. I like the visuals, but it isn't the same. No, it looks it looks like Last of Us. I'm sorry? That's giving me Silent Hill 3 vibe. Silent Hill was always meant to be dirty and distant, trying to clean glass to stain with Burton. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not going to have the same vibe, and they're going to try to, and that's great. And Or it's terrible, rather, I should say. I don't mean great. All right, what's this new thing? Why are you here? No, in this place, why are you here? You're to be punished. Oh! I mean, we've done something so awful. Stuck here in this place, or being judged by these people. But for you, I think it's more than that. I think you're here. And, oh, it's the people that made stories untold. And it's the. Be, oh! You figure that out. Oh my god. It's the people that made stories untold. Oh. Hi, my name is John McKellen. I'm the creative director at No Code, and we are working on Silent Hill Timefall. 
I remember playing the original Silent that, Hill on okay. PS1 back in 1999 and became a fan from that moment on. So for us to work on this game with our friends at Annapurna feels like an actual dream come true. It's a real honour for us to bring a new title to this series that both respects the source material, but also does something a little bit different. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Seeing Silent Hill has been an inspiration to No Code would be a massive understatement. Our previous two games, Stories on Mad Sad is horrid, just like I said. That same deep psychological horror. And I know oh. we're weaving that narrative and that experience into every aspect of our game design, our audio. From the creative observer is concerning. Are. So obviously uh. the teaser trailer is just the beginning and we can't show you any more just yet. We're going to be hard at work for a while. Uh, That's exciting. Come back in the new year and show you more. That's exciting. Until then, might be worth watching that trailer again and see what you might have missed. It. You just got hit by the Roman Reigns that I pointed for. <laughs> You think this will be exclusive as well? Probably not. Man, that's exciting. No Code is such a good team for it, honestly. まだ今日は言えないんですけれども、同様に素晴らしい才能を持ったチームと今後のパートナーシップを拡大していく予定です。それは素晴らしいですね。ダウンフォールが楽しみです。ありがとうございます。では、Don't play observe. No, it's it's uh observation. Uh right? Yeah, it's it's not observer, it's observation. It's very close, I'll give you that. 実はサイレントヒルはゲーム以外の展開もあるんです。are you doing an anime? では、ここでアシスタントプロデューサー、内藤瑠衣さんをお迎えして、その新たな展開について伺っていきましょう。内藤さん、お願いいたします。サイレントヒルのIP展開、クロスミディア展開を担当しています、内藤です。よろしくお
and whatever a, a man can go deep in hell to bring back the soul or the person he loved the most in his life. So you're not doing an so original... psychological horror. Even if we are going to find again all the same creature and the same strange terror sequence, something like that, but the first big interrogation and the first big terror is about ourselves. Are we mad? Are we sane? Are, are we sane to go back to Silent Hill to find this great love? This one now has so many years from the first one that there is a clear idea from Christoph to make it modern, but also very true to the video game. And that's also what it is. We are also respecting the will of the author, the producers, and Konami into this uh, adaptation. Christoph, it's really somebody that respects the work that has been done, but that also has his own vision. It nurtures the creative vision of the authors from the game, but with a different vision from a filmmaker. And both they have created, I believe, uh, something um, that has struck the minds of the fans. Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, I forgot this part. We are great artistic achievement, and I have a responsibility to transpose that on the big screen, you know? Christoph is a real gamer. He has been immersed in this world. That's why... Um, Christoph is watching all so kinds of seven-hour-long YouTube essays. That, uh, I was one of them, and it was so important for me to, to respect the original creation, you know? That, that was Someone amazing. remind me to go everything. get a sound uh, clip of a real gamer, please. So I'm going with a maximum of humility, a maximum of respect, but in the same time, I have quite a charge, quite a goal, which is how to transpose the language of the game, which is entirely about immersion, into a tale, into a story. Why? Ninety or one of the Why do they the think that you can do that? Also, one of the key elements that the fans are waiting for, and we are updating those in a way that the creation is similar, but they will be striking. For me, one of my major goal in, in, in this film is how to redesign the classic monster of Silent Hill. Uh, I was talking about Red Pyramid, you know, this big guy with the helmet, you know, he's. Again, in this one, Red Pyramid Some thing. Of the creature of the film of uh, back in uh, 2000. I would laugh if they ever tried to rekindle or do a cinematic very, approach to four with how much Walter is foreshadowed and into. And oh my God! At the same time, for me, it was it was important to come back with with surprise. It's a new universe. It's a new challenge, and those are very important to bring these icons differently to the audience I'm because mm. they want them to have that wow effect. That's why you know I found a very interesting collaboration with the people of Konami. They helped me a lot to achieve yeah, this Yeah, ta town, I'm very Silent excited Star. for Townfall. They are also working on I'm very excited for Townfall. The, franchise of Silent Hill. the younger audience, they want that collective experience. And Anna Pirna is going to publish it. No Code is the developer. But they want also to live that experience together. We all know that uh, watching an horror film alone at his home mm. is quite different of being into a big theater with a crowd and everybody jumping at the same time it's very different we are modernizing we are giving him what the audience of today is really wanting we are trying to do is as that from the dlc creating a new experience for that audience could be more immersive interactive and we no. have now new technologies but we still have what makes the best is the story and this story is at the core of it. So Nothing you said was anything. Will be a great return. Nothing you said was anything. We want uh, to keep the link with the audience. You know, we have to to be perfectly aware that everything what was that has from? changed in 15 years. Everything has been washed away. You know? We have to bring back something, you know, very surprising. 
That was the movie? I think that was from one of his other movies. Oh, that was the first movie. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were saying it was the new movie, and I was like, I don't think that... But okay. That makes more sense. I didn't see it, so... I was gonna say, I was like, there's no way. There you go. Yeah, an A24 Silent Hill movie, I would shit myself just from the trailer. One more thing, please. Is that the end end or do we have one more? Oh, of course, merchandise. From here, I would like to share with you some of Silent Hill related items that will help you enjoy the game even more. Here is the first one we would like to introduce. Okay. From Gecko, you all very know, one sixth scale statue of Red Pyramid Thing is coming. Thoroughly supervised by the art director and the monster. A24 would make Silent Hill 3, though. Oh, too. God, that would monster be great. Detail, all details are brushed up. That would be so you good. You can even see the details we couldn't express because of the video game spec at the time. The like his huge dong. The scaffold can be connected and you can recreate the scene of the final fight against two red pyramid things. Up next, James Sunderland 1-6 scale statue. The realistic sculpture perfectly captures James's exhaustive facial expression. Not only the Mood. handgun, but also the wooden plank, the steel pipe, and the great knife pairing up with red pyramid thing can be held in his right hand. At his feet, health drinks are tossed. Just swing it under the light. Maria from Silent Hill 2 is also coming as a 1-6 scale statue. It is the very first official statue of Maria. With the so you're coming back in a new Silent Hill. Can I be making smart decisions now, finally? Eh. Gun, we'll see. Appears in the sub scenario born from a wish. Eh. See how fucking least, miserable. Ah! Okay. Okay. Wait. Inu end is also recreated as a one sixth scale. That's great. Statue. The diorama statue will remind you of the last scene where James collapsed to his knees and say, so it was all your work. From here, we will introduce some products from the official Konami shop. First, why is everyone doing skateboards? What happened with skateboards? Encapsulates all that horror and eeriness. Why is everyone doing skateboards? The first four installments of the franchise. These hand numbered limited decks are now available for pre order. What marketing Konami guy shop, is just all like. products are now available. Please check it out. There's another way to show off any artist, but like, why that medium? Rock, one six scale, fully articulated collectible figures of red pyramid thing and bubble head nurse are coming. They are high quality and fully articulated. I don't like how they say fully articulated. Pop up parade bubble head nurse is coming with affordable prices. Pop up parade is a series of figures that are easy to collect. Each figure typically they did big reels. All these people went ass, eh, so they still gotta sell them. From bedrock collectibles, Red Pyramid Thing and Maria Elevator Chase diorama is coming. This statue diorama captures a moment in time as Red Pyramid Thing readies to swing his great blade while Maria attempts to run away and reach the elevator in time with her outreached hand. This diorama will be coming soon to the Bedrock Collectibles website. Konami is proud to present all these items on Silent Hill e-commerce page. Don't miss it and secure your order. No. I might look at the mer at like the hats. Now the scene has changed and we have our next guest. Our next guest is Jacob Nabok. Jacob, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Jacob Navok, and I'm the CEO at Genvid. Jacob, what will you be presenting? Genvid sounds like I'm a. I'm going to show you a new kind of Silent Hill, an experience VR. That you haven't seen up. VR. Before. A whole new experience. What is it all about? Please take a look at this video for him. It's going to be VR. A company like Genvid, absolutely a VR company. What's happening? 
Are they making their own de- Who the fuck? What is that? Ascension. What the? Are they making their own Dead by Daylight style game? Bad robot games. Base your trauma together is a terrible, it's a terrible tagline. Well, this is going to be another world of Silent Hill. Jacob, could you please introduce your project? For over 20 years, Silent Hill has haunted my memories. And lately, I enjoy watching streamers playing Silent Hill with their fam. We love the feeling of being scared together. Come hang out, Jacob. Experiencing fear. Come hang out. Friends. It's I caught that air screamer under the awning. It was rad. It's so fun. Silent Hill Ascension takes that feeling of communal fear to a massive scale. It's going to be bad. It's a live, real-time interactive series where millions of fans will watch together as the chilling story unfolds. You can change its outcomes and even be a part of scenes. There is no reset button. Decisions Why would there... that you make mean life or death in the story. It's your chance to shape Silent Hill canon forever. This Silent sounds Hill like they're going to try to sell you an game. NFT. Bad robot behavior and dj2 and goes live in 2023 sign up at ascension.com for updates i'm so excited about this new world of silent hill it's a corporate Here's stream arg we received from two important partners in the project before we look at the messages could you please introduce them today we're going to hear from bad robot as well as behavior i see behavior sounds okay familiar first, first i would like to read a message from director jj abrams fucking jj abrams genvit's experience presents a wild epic and innovative new way to immerse you and your 19 friends go down your local church for a five-star pyramid head raid if you don't clear it your wife dies please, please watch the message from the art director of bad robot and the creative team of behavior <laughs> I'm Chris Amaral from Bad Robot Games and art director for Silent Hill Ascension. That's very funny. Our approach to Silent Hill Ascension is to ensure we maintain the tone and the feeling that the fans have come to love. And in my streams, I see that also down. our own twist of an oppressed, tormented, and morose dimension of oh. reality. Oh. Trickster, you missed you missed a fantastic moment today. From the darkest depths of the main character. You missed a fantastic minds. moment today. In Silent Hill Ascension, we build off of this. Our creatures are inspired by the personal traumas and internal demons of our characters' past lives. We want the art style to be a fresh take on the brand while still being equally respectful to where we've been before. In 2021, we released The Executioner and the survivor Cheryl Mason in Dead by Daylight. The That's why behavior sounds again, familiar. We'll dive into the world of silence. That's why behavior sounds familiar. That's the experience. people that make Dead by Daylight. Here's Chris. VP creative of our service division to tell you all about it. this company kind of sucks Everyone too. behavior is excited to announce our collaboration with Genvid on Silent Hill Ascension in a new form of entertainment that blends community live storytelling and interactivity. Silent Hill Ascension takes you and the entire community on a unique interactive storytelling experience where the decisions you make affect the characters and the world. Those decisions become time is a flat circle no reset button. This is a whole new chapter for Silent Hill with new characters and frightful monsters where the stakes couldn't be more real. We're thrilled to be working with the talented teams at Genvid, Bad Robot, and DJ2 to bring Silent Hill Ascension to life. Look for it to go live in 2023 and sign up at ascension.com for updates. You guys listening community always came through. Hill, the fun only gets better. Jacob, what do you think of the two message videos? I am thrilled to work with these incredible teams. Together, we're going to revolutionize what horror means in interactive media. That's fantastic. We are excited too. I hope no one that says that actually does that. So, this new Silent Hill. I'm sure you. I'll see what it is. Thank you, Jacob, for sharing your fascinating title with us today. Thank you for your time, Jacob. Thank you very much. Or is about lack of control. So Z, this sounds weird. Yeah. Oh. 
実は最後にもう一本「サイレントヒルの完全新作の発表があります我々が自信を持って送り出す新しい「サイレントヒルです Thank you very much Finally we will leave you with that completely new video Thank you for watching Silent Hill Transmission I look forward to doing this again in 15 years Okay, well, this is in Japan. Which... Fatal Frame looks good. Fatal Frame 6, Silent Hill. Like, oh, wait a minute. It's growing very quickly. Oh. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't, that seems bad. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is, oh, this is disturbing. Jesus. I don't know who that is. Neo Neo Bards? And that's the end. I Silent Hill Forte. It'll be silent. It is just Silent Hill F. It'll just be Silent Hill F because they can't they they can't call something Silent Hill 5, I guess. That was that was horrifying. That was horrifying. That was horrifying in a way that. I have not seen a horror thing be horrifying in a in a while. Like especially just a video game trailer like that was I don't know what's happening I don't know why it's happening it's it's upsetting like it's not gross but it's upsetting oh I can never play that game no I I, I don't even know if I could play that game that, I mean, you know, we'll see with the trailer, but uh, uh. um, intent. Yeah, I, I, oof. Goodness gracious. Um. So yeah, that. That was that. Uh, that was the Silent Hill transmission. I'm hi. Um I'm really um I guess it's good that um we I get I guess okay, here's what I'm going to say. I'm glad the Silent Hill 2 thing is finally out and it exists and we can just it can happen now. Do you know what I mean? As opposed to it being a, a ser a, an infinite series of rumors, it can happen. It can be done, and we can move past it. 
I don't have any faith of that Bluebird team will make anything interesting. The best thing that they can do, like Brian said, literally the best thing they can do is make a shot for shot remake of Silent Hill 2 in just like a new engine. I don't believe that they're going to. Which one of those has Elijah Wood? He was sharing the news. I did see that on uh, on uh, on uh, uh, TikTok, and I thought that was very funny. I saw that on TikTok, and I thought that was very funny. Um, so yeah. Um. Um, Townfall, I'm excited for, because No Code has two really solid games under their belt. Annapurna is a great. Uh, uh, publisher to to team with them to support them to make them um, uh, uh, to to work with them. I wonder if F is that game code is that uh, Sakura code name game. I bet you that's it. I bet you F is uh, is that Dragon Two for seven bucks. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um. So yeah, I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. I can see him acting in the movie. That seems fine. Yeah, I'm curious about the movie. I have I've never seen the Silent Hill movie. So. Hmm. The movie with all the ash. The movie with all the ash. The movies are okay. Yeah. They're an off-world, just eh. I mean... I want to... I want to watch it partially for... Um, just, to, just to have seen it. Do you know what I mean? There's a, there's, a, there's a part of me that's like, I should just see it. You know? Um, it's like, just, just watch the movie. Just watch the dang movie. You know what I mean? I wish they could have made it originally designed. Uh, do you mean like if they had done an original story or was there a thing with a development where they like they had weird issues? Because I don't know. Um. But yeah, it's it, like the Resident Evil movies, like like the Netflix stuff. Like I was like, I just you know, sometimes sometimes you just got to use. Sometimes you just want to watch something. Um, I definitely feel like I want to play Silent Hill two. Did weird issues. There originally were no men in the movie, and it got sent back in, and then they put Sean Bean in it. Oh oh yeah right. I remember. Okay, I remember. I remember talking to you about that. Yeah. I remember talking about that now. I remember this conversation. Um, um, so yeah, I, I definitely feel like I want to play Silent Hill 2 before before that comes out. Um, maybe I try to do like no codes games before that comes out. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um. Forte or F, whatever that is. We just fucked up our Bechdel test. Um. Yeah, I, I, I want to. Hmm. Gosh, that trailer. That trailer was. Man. Blah. I'm very... I'm very interested in what it is, but... Golly. Was that trailer wild. Um... The new movie? Eh. Eh. This... Gen Raid thing, whatever it is, I'm sure it will be bad. I'm sure it will be bad. You know, there's some okay things in there. Silent Doom and Gloom. I have no idea what F is compared to the rest of the series. We'll see. 
they didn't sell they didn't try to sell us nfts i honestly i would have put money i would have put money on them trying to sell nfts and they might still as part of this ascension here actually let's go ascension.com that absolutely this absolutely looks like a thing that might try to sell me an nft nope it's all the things we just saw all right so right now they just want my email address right now they just want my email address better than i expected but less than i'd hoped yeah i didn't i didn't hope for much i didn't hope for much because i mean it's konami like i don't trust him for anything so yeah huh but all right thank you everybody for joining me for this weird silent hill thing uh yeah i'm glad they're doing new collectible like i i don't know i don't know what to say i don't know how to feel about this like i feel i feel like i am not qualified to talk about this as a person that came to enjoying silent hill like so late um and not really having played any of them so i feel like i feel like it's weird for me to comment on it and be like this is what i feel this is what i feel like Meh. you know what i mean um I'll, I'll speak for you it smells a bit weird i gotta go home and shower so i hope and get untriggered that's fun brian i'm sorry i'm sorry that i'm sorry that happened that's that was that was more than a bit so i'm sorry for that buddy i'm sorry for that the old girl's alive at least we'll see we'll see we'll see how it is in a year's time you know we'll see we'll see if we're still talking about silent hill stuff uh a year from now um well you know by the by the time it gets released on xbox we'll see if we care you know by the by the time that console exclusivity uh uh peters out best i can say is there's new silent hill stuff i don't know if if the existence of the no code game was enough to uh jalen hello again at least that one guy got pt working on a jailbroken ps5 Oh, uh, man, shouts to them. Shouts to them. Jalen, hello. All right, we're going to go. We're going to go. Uh, I love y'all. Thank you for hanging out. We're going to raid Fawn again because that's funny. It's funny to me to raid Fawn again. <laughs> um, it's, it's funny to me to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, we'll do more Silent Hill tomorrow. Uh, I've been working on getting Scaretober stuff up on YouTube so that we can enjoy that. And uh, yeah, as always, if you're not following the stream, click that follow button. If you're not hanging out in the Discord, come hang out in the Discord. It's super fun. Uh, follow me on socials, all that, all that regular stuff, whatever, you know. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to go make dinner. I hope everybody uh, had a good time. But until I see you tomorrow, take care of yourself.